Okay, in putting the new part to pocket bell with hands together, best way to do it is to break it up a little bit, okay? So you can kind of get the feel of where the left hand flows with the right hand, okay? So this is your opening part. And we're just going to stop there, okay, just for this video. So what you might want to do is you might want to pause the video after I play each part and just practice just that part, okay? So here's the first part. Okay, so with the left hand, we're just going to roll like this with the left hand. Back to the middle note, okay? So for this first video here, you're really only worrying about two chords. The D chord, going from the tonic to the dominant, back to the tonic again, using the octave, back to the dominant, and then the A chord. Okay? So, hopefully you can see the whole video here. For the beginning part, it's... Just like that. So you can pause the video right there and just try that. And then for the next part, it's... Jump down and hit the fifth finger on the A. Like that. Okay? Again. And now hit this A after you hit your fifth finger on that A. Okay? So once again. Just like that. Okay? Okay? And if you want to get with the scale right there, you can do... like that. I'm going to put my pedal on it so it sounds a little bit better. Say once again. Go, go a little slower on the A scale. So, if you notice that the music right here, I have these notes circled to show you what notes play with your left hand, okay? So the top A up here, it plays with your left hand. This F sharp plays with your left hand. This top A, this F sharp, and then the top A, but not the bottom A, the uh, A above middle C. So when you hit the octave when you when you're at the high a jump it down to the octave there the second a does not play with your left hand but then the b plays with your left hand the d and the f sharp plays with your left hand okay and the same thing is going to happen when we get over here with the b minor chord going to the f sharp but right now just practice going back and forth between the d chord and the a chord there with the opening part of the new melody